Now to a story you'll see only on WRAL News tonight. State and county leaders in Durham are concerned about the safety of child welfare workers. That's after a group of activists has been using high pressure tactics to change the way the county is handling some of its child protection cases. WRAL's Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live in Durham with what we know at this hour. Laura? Deb, uh, what we know is that there's WRAL News has obtained a bunch of internal email messages from county leaders talking about a group called Operation Stop CPS. Uh, this group is pushing the county to send children back to homes that they've been removed from by social workers. They compare removal to kidnapping, and county leaders say their rhetoric is worrying. Late last week, in an internal email, Durham County Social Services Director Ben Rose warned state and county leaders that he fears Operation Stop CPS's rhetoric, quote, is going to lead to potential violence and harm to someone. There is genuine fear here now, even from court officials, Rose wrote. We need help. The issue has gone on for months. In July, Durham County Judge Shamika Reinhart removed herself from a child protection case after the group targeted her on social media, urging thousands of followers to contact her. Last week, the group published contact information for Commissioner Wendy Jacobs, urging followers to hold Durham County government to the fire. Rose, Reinhardt, and Jacobs all declined to be interviewed for this story. Operation Stop CPS also protested outside the County Human Services building last week, shouting at CPS workers as they left for the day and posting this image to Facebook with a message, Durham County loves to protect kidnappers. It's not threatening, it's powerful. And that's what's threatening to people. But we have never said that we were going to be violent, never, and, and that is not our intent. Amanda Wallace is the founder of Operation Stop CPS. She's a former social worker who believes child protective services should be abolished because they remove children from homes they don't need to be removed from. She calls that kidnapping. She says she publishes contact information for key officials so followers can help her pressure them. They're simply coming with the power to tell this, you know, tell the commissioners that they're the ones that elected them into these seats and the same people that elected them can elect them out. Um, and so that is what the power of a phone number and an email is. Now, I asked the State Department of Health and Human Services if they're assisting Durham with this particular issue. A spokeswoman for the state agency said they are aware of the issue and are working with counties to, quote, ensure employees are safe and social workers are able to deliver services to children and families. Mm -hmm. Deb? Laura Leslie reporting live for us. Thank you, Laura.